The police are hurting us. They just bulldozed all of mine, squad, and another lady's stuff. We have nothing now. We have to start completely over. It's not justice, period. Like, you know, so it's really frustrating to even see, like, the patches of where, they, where people were living, you know, and now it's just not there. This needs to stop. People need to be quick to listen and slow to speak because everything is right there that you seek. We need housing. We need affordable housing. People don't understand. At any moment, you guys could be in our position. The economy is going to shit. I'm sorry for cussing. But also, people need to understand that we are not zoo animals. This is ridiculous. They arrested us. They pulled people out of tents by their arms and their legs. They chased us down the street. They put hands on me. We literally just witnessed them take bulldozers to people's tents and put them in dumpsters and just drive away like it was nothing. Like they just did not care and the police just really didn't. They just don't care. You could see it clear as day that just even the way that they interact with the people that are over here trying to help. Did you live here? Yeah. Can yeah. you talk about what the what you just went through today? It was like harassment is a violation of my rights. People are losing their livelihoods like this is their home these are the only things that they own and you're just gonna kick them out. Uh, the East Sanctuary encampment here um, at Powderhorn Park was served notice on Friday that they had 72 hours to vacate. The notice that was served was followed through on by the, the county, the city, the park board, park police, um, and then you know all the third party companies that were uh, assisting with facilities. There have been concerted efforts to get people out since notice has been served and get them to other safe locations, whether it be other parks, hotels, um, shelters, or um, you know wherever else they might have the wherewithal to go. And, uh, and so the, thankfully the numbers here were, were more limited than they could have been um, when it came to forcible removal. Some people today did go willingly to other sanctuaries and there were those who chose to stay. Um, and those people were forcibly removed. The, uh, the police dragged them out by hands and feet. Um, the, uh, the tents were picked up and, and hauled away by bulldozers and front loaders. Um, and the, uh, the belongings of a number of residents were, were taken and as far as I know, uh, not returned or uh, destroyed or, or thrown away. What if you were just living and somebody just came and carried you out your house and lit your house on fire? How would you feel about that? Would you, would you be smiling if it happened to you? You know, so it's just super frustrating that it just seems like the ones that are supposed to care don't, you know, and that there's just so much more that we can do to help one another. And I just hope that they, that it's seen, like that all of this is seen for what it is and it's gross. And it, there needs to be change, there needs to be things put in place for people to actually have the opportunity to grow. It's, it's ridiculous, it's disgusting, it's, it's ugly, and we need to hold our elected, fish, elected officials accountable because this shit is fucked up. I just feel like kind of hopeless again, because now we have to start over.